Greetings, Commanders. This is Commander Atlas Rand, and today I am flying around, or, well, I'm stationary right now, but I'm flying around looking for some materials for this character. Uh, I'm sure you guys have figured out if you watched a few of my videos, I've got several accounts, and they're all at different stages. My old account's got over 5,000 hours of playtime on it. But I also have some younger accounts like this one, which is just starting to unlock engineering. So I thought, why don't I make a video showing what the best method, or at least the method I use for gathering materials, which is way faster and simpler now than it used to be last year. Uh, in this video, and if you're watching this in the future, hello future, this video is uh, November of 2024. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually look at one of the apps that I use. And I already did a full video on using this app, ED Odyssey Material Helper. So you can see here that I've got a full supply of some materials, but empties and a lot of others. Uh, the, the general plan is to only get type five materials, the ones with a little five pointed star here because we can trade from them to all the lesser materials in that same row, or I guess it's two rows here, but you, you see what I'm talking about. So from the proto heat radiators, we can trade that into heat veins, into heat exchangers, heat dissipation plates, and heat conduction wiring. So all we really need to get is the proto heat radiators, but that's very full. So let's look for something that's not full. For example, um, Imperial Shielding is one. And then another one is, let's see, how about a proto radialic alloy? So that is available using this app. Um, if you highlight what you're looking at, you guys don't see the window, but it's a pop up and I see it. And it says, uh, actually, I wonder, nah, I don't think there's an easy way to show you. But it, in the app, it'll tell you if you want this material, go to a, uh, a system with a state of boomer expansion with a high population in alliance or independent space. So I'm going to close that up, look at our map, go to Pilots Federation. Uh, I'm going to look for an alliance or independent system. And it's these green and yellows that popped up. And then I'm also going to look for, um, let's see, what it's a boomer expansion, I think. Yeah, boomer expansion. So turn those two on. Okay, so there's one right here. Federation, 8.9 million. It's not too big, but it's not that small. How about Lusty? Alliance. Okay, actually, this one's Federation. We don't want Federation. We want Alliance or Independent. 5 billion... And there's a boom. How far away is this? Uh, three jumps. Okay. There, I wonder if there's anything closer. Five billion is a lot. That, that would definitely qualify. So that is a boom with 8.9 million. Here's an alliance boom with 5.5. Independent with three. Actually, I can even go down here into population range options and then turn it on and then you can move this slider for min or max so if we go let's say right there it gets rid of some of these how about this place so 342 million it's dependent in the boom and it's just a little bit closer than listy let's go there and if we can't find it there we'll check out listy we will reach our destination in three jumps. three jumps either way so fly out there we regarded as hostile in this system skip it okay we're going to go to the nav beacon where we've arrived in the system the nav beacon is going to tell us what signals are in the system? We could also scan it down, and sometimes I do that, but 
when there's a nav beacon, it's an easy way to get all those signals all at once. I'm using a little super cruise assist trick where I'm going a little faster than I normally could, but it still pulls me out because we have super cruise assist. All right, so we see the nav beacon. Just wait here for a few seconds to get it fully scanned. FSD cooldown complete. And it's scanned. Now, I'm gonna fly out of here. Okay, and as soon as we're in hypercruise, look over here for all the signals and, oh, we don't have it. Okay, we're gonna go to a different system. We're looking for a, uh, a high emission signal. Hmm. Well, that's too bad from uh, looking at this. And the backup was uh, Listy. Listy, I believe. So if we go back into Pod Federation uh, and we're looking for Boom or Expansion. And we're looking for a large population. And there's Listy. That's the next closest one that has 5 billion people there. Just one, jump one jump. Let's check it out. Main charging. I'm leaving in this bit because sometimes you will go to a system that should have the materials or at least is likely to have the materials, but there's no guarantee. <clears throat> so sometimes you do have to jump around a little bit to find a system that has exactly what we're looking for. This next star is Okay, let's go to the nav beacon. Oh yeah, George Lucas is in here, and Chariot of Re is in there, and uh, George Lucas is a uh, just an interestingly named uh, Orbis port, but the um, what is it? The Chariot of Rhea is a, a ship that sells. Um, some uh, interesting materials. I can't remember if it's mining related or if it's um, Lee Ru Young related stuff. But we'll stop in there. Just take a look. Well, I might have an edit, but I'm going to leave this in. All right, let's see what we got. So it's expansion. So that's a good sign. That's what we're looking for. And the the thing we're specifically looking for is proto radialic radialic radiolic <laughs> proto radiolic alloys, and we can trade down from that. In fact, uh, as soon as we well here, I can put this up right now. There we go. So you can see that in the corner, and you can see what we're missing and what we're trying to get here. It's the the one on the bottom uh, of alloys right here. All right. Jumping out and we have proto light and proto perfect. This is exactly what we need. So go to the your number one panel and then scoot over to contacts and you'll be able to see what all is in here. Look how many of them there are. That will completely fill us up. I turn that on so you can see the debris a little better. And then open up my cargo scoop. And then start dumping. I'm going to dump four collectors here. I don't need four of them. It just goes faster. And I'm going to try and get right above where they all are. So that it's the shortest path for the limpets to go. So now I think they're all right below me and get the rest of the limpets out. There we go, we're loading them up. And you can see they're moving on the the uh, ED Odyssey material helper as well as we're loading them in.
I'm gonna stop moving my head here. So you guys don't uh, have to watch the screen going back and forth. So it's loading proto light alloys mostly. I think it just those are closer, and then it's gonna when it gets to 120 of those, it'll switch to doing 100 of the proto radialic alloys, and it's gonna fill both of those in one spot now. Last year, this time of year, if I was doing this, I would get three of these. Not 100, not 120, but three. I'd probably get three of the pro light alloys and three, maybe six of the proto radialic alloys. And that's it. And then I have to fly out and find another one of these sites. Now, while that's loading, I want to show you something here. So we have several groups of these. We have raw materials, which you can see I've got very little of. And we'll do a mining raw materials uh, video later. And I already have a video that shows you how to do it. But I will probably uh, do another video where I'm going to try using... Uh, a little more variety of sources for these materials. We also have emissions. The emissions, I don't have a whole lot of either here. These are some of the harder things to get because you have to scan emissions. You don't pick them up. They're not physical items. There's something that you have to scan. So if we pick one like adaptive encryption, encryptor captors, we look at the site, it says, where do you get them? Jam Jameson crash site at uh, hip12099. Uh, how about classified scan fragments? It tells me I need to scan authority ships, which is military ships, in conflict zones. That's how you get those. So they're all readily available. It's just there's a little more work because they have to be scanned rather than picked up from single location like this. You can see the limpets are doing a great job of clearing all the resources up. Let's scroll back down here and see where we are. So we're pick, we're about half done with proto light alloys and we're half done with proto radialic. So we may have to, like this one site may actually not have enough to fill us. May have to do another round. And there's two ways to do that. One is just to fly to another system that has the same kind of boom happening, the same kind of expansion. The other thing we can do is just kind of hang out in this system for a little while. And once this site goes down, once we leave this site, generally another one of the same type with the same materials will spawn in. And if it doesn't spawn in immediately, it'll usually spawn in within about 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, this is not going to be quite enough for both of those. So we're actually going to leave and then let's see uh, so all of these are listed but there aren't any high None that I can see. So what we're going to do is just park here, go into the DSS scanner, which is uh, either semicolon or apostrophe as the default. And we're going to do a full ping here. I guess, yeah, we didn't do that yet. Uh, and then we're going to look to see if there's any signals that we haven't scanned yet. And it doesn't look like it. It looks like we've got all the signals all the emission signals already scanned so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually stay in this system uh, i'm not gonna make you guys uh just wait because what we're gonna do is go to chariot of Rhea.
Okay, let's find out what's for sale here. This is our first visit to the station commander. Technology broker. Okay. Yes, this is the uh serious corporation stuff. So anti corrosion pack, metal alloys, engineered detailed surface scanner, metal okay. So you you need materials for all this stuff mechanical scrap germanium mechanical components and niobium we don't have any of that stuff this is why we're trying to uh get all the materials but that's how you would buy it you don't use money you just need to bring these components uh 26 22 28 that's quite a few actually and then you will get one engineered detail surface scanner that scans twice as much so that's a good deal. Anti-corrosion cargo. If you ever do cathargoid stuff, then uh, the uh, anti-corrosion and cargo packs. I don't know what the difference between these. They, these look exactly the same. They're both 16 size. That's available here. Uh, meta alloy hull reinforcement. Not horribly useful, but you could use it for thargoids. Uh, actually, up here you have the engineered FSD. This is the old FSD that used to be the best before the SCO FSDs came out. No point in buying that. I just threw four of these away recently. All right, and then for weapons, yep, all the serious stuff. Serious Corporation X missiles in different sizes. Remote release flash launcher or flechette. Yeah, I guess it'd be flechette launcher. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shot cannon. See, engineered seeker missile rack. I don't remember what these do. Lightweight, high capacity. Okay, so it's got both lightweight and high capacity. And it's got thermal cascade built in on them. Ah, interesting. Hmm. So it heats up the other ship's shields. Uh, shot cannon. I've tried shot cannons. They're not horribly useful. The serious missiles are actually very good at very particular tasks with Thargoids. Not useful for most people. Enzyme missile, I have... Um, yeah, this needs Thargoid parts to get. Uh, I've never tried it, but what it's supposed to do is shoot a corrosive enzyme onto the enemy ship but it is not a homing missile, which means it just goes in a straight line. So you have to be pretty much right on top of the other ship and when you shoot this, otherwise you're probably going to miss. Uh, and then remote release flash. Launcher 2, what were these? Oh, okay. And more shotguns. Oh, and it's got serious heat. Now, these are really good. Serious heat sinks, well worth getting. Again, we don't have the materials to get it, but we will, and I will come back here and pick some up um heat sink that just has extra an extra round of heat sinks and then beyond what you can normally engineer so this is a serious ship it says right there serious corporation um but the reason we stopped here is just to take a look and um see maybe pick up some more limpets maybe not whoa i have a lot of structure to repair Let's see, do we need any more limpets? Nah, we got plenty. 67. Limpets add weight, so you only want to carry as many as you're going to need. Let's launch and see if the... Another uh, high quality um, signal popped up or not.
but to see it, we need to get up into hyperdrive. Okay. Alright, so it's not going to pop up by itself here, but we have some I unidentified, and that's good. So now we'll, we'll just scan just the ones that are not identified. High grade, first one we scan right there. Perfect. Let's scan a couple more. There, Sometimes there's more than one high grade that pops up. I don't know why it's not letting me click on there. What the heck? Okay. Degraded... Power wreckage. Wow, a lot of stuff popped up. Well, whoa. Oh, because I'm going through the ring. That's what it is. Okay. All right. Well, we got the important one. So I'm not going to bother scanning here. Let's get away from this ring and go towards the high, high grade emissions. See if we can finish it up, get the remainder that is still empty. Now, the alternative, like I said, is you could have actually just jumped out of this system and, ooh, I forgot to slow down. Uh, could have jumped out of this system and just looked for another system with the same kind of parameters. A expansion or boom, high population number. Um, but sometimes it's actually faster to just wait a little bit and see if another high grade emission pops up. There we go. Get super cruise on. It'll take care of stopping us. Okay, let's take a look. We got proto heat radiators. All right. That's not what we need, though. I think we're full on those. Cool down complete. Proto heat radiators, I'm pretty sure, are full. Um, yep. Yeah, yep, yeah, those are at 100. So, this is another high, but it has different materials in it, unfortunately. So, I guess we will be jumping out of the system. Um, because only one of these highs looks like oh, is going to be available at once. So let's take a look. What else fills the criteria? So Pilots Federation, boom, expansion, uh, population range is large. This place, 5.2 billion boom. Okay, that's almost identical to this system. Setting course for Titan's love. System is just one jump away. And that's jump. Charging FSD. And this will happen sometimes. The same system is capable of having multiple types of materials. I generally consider that a good thing, um, but um, if you're looking for one particular type of material, obviously that's not a good thing. So going to scan the nav beacon, that's the fastest way of doing it when you first jump in. We're right next to the nav beacon, look at that, three seconds away.
SSD ready. Scan the beacon. And get out of here. Let's look for a high. There's one high grade emissions right there. Any more? Yep, there's another one down there. This one's 36 minutes. Let's see what the other one is. It's always good to check and do the one with the least amount of time first. Same thing, three, 31 minutes. So it doesn't matter what order we do them in. We can do one. In fact, that, the other one's closer. So let's do that one first. And. And then we can do the second one if needed. So this is also expansion, so hopefully this will have the products that we need. The materials we need. Now when you do this, it's usually a good idea to do this in solo. So that you're not competing against anybody for these resources. Okay, this is what we need. Alloys. So, open up cargo scoop, get the drones out, the limpets out. I'll put this back on the screen so we can watch it get full. And it's actually this one right here, proto radialic alloys and pro light alloys. And this should have enough material for filling it. We got just over half last time. Okay, I'm almost done. Filling up nicely. And once this is done, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but for Imperial Shielding. That'll be the next one. Getting there. Couple of more limpet loads. And one more. Or maybe that was the last one. Yeah, I think one more. Okay, and then the next one will be the Imperial Shielding. And what I'm going to do for that, as soon as this is done, okay, we're full up. Fly out of here. So, a year ago, this would have taken probably six six hours to do. Now, it's done in about a half an hour. Okay. Um, so, the next thing I do is go here, uh, search for the next thing that I need, and the Imperial Shielding is anywhere in the Empire. So, we're going to the Empire and a population that is high. And let's zoom out, see where those systems are. Um, I think Empire is going to be further down here. Yep, there we go. So these systems with 16 billion in the Empire, more than likely these all the little blue dots have Imperial shielding on them. So I'm not going to do that one on screen. The process is exactly what I just did for the other materials. You just fly down here. You scan uh, for uh, the uh, the high quality missions. You fly over to them. You grab them. 
if it's the wrong one then you do another search you can either say in the system or fly to another system that potentially has them so the process is exactly the same for all of these and then uh, obviously the process is different for the raw materials i've got a video on how to do those already and then i will probably make another one in a little more detail and then there are the scanned ones and these like i said are the ones that take the longest to do because generally you have to perform an action to actually scan something rather than just going to a site like this where you can do a whole bunch of them at once and i will I'll make a video on doing those in the future as well. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I know um, this, I'll tell you real time, like with zero cuts, we are at 42 minutes. Um, I'm sure by the time you watch the video, it'll be a much shorter video than 42 minutes. I'm going to cut out all the, the travel bits and waiting around and where nothing actually happens. But just so you're aware in real time, we are now at 42 minutes. And we had two different systems which had the wrong materials or no materials. Uh, if we would have gotten lucky and got them the first try in under 30 minutes, I would have been full on two different types of materials, which is really nice. Hope this helps. We'll see you in the next one.